A few weeks ago, we celebrated the graduation of our post-secondary students. Last week, we honored our grade five grads. And this morning, we are excited to be recognizing our high school graduates. Now this year, we have eight grads, Adam, Serena, Madison, Jessica, Ethan, Micah, Lauren, and Raquel. And it is a joy to celebrate this important milestone with our grads. And we are especially proud of them for persevering through the challenges COVID has brought this past year, including the frequent switching between in-person and at-home learning. Now, as our grads move on to new adventures and new opportunities, it is our hope and prayer that they will continue to grow closer in their relationship with Jesus, that their faith will continue to deepen, and that they will stay connected with their church family. And at this point, Brooklyn, Kara, and Steffi, three of our high school leaders, will now pray for the grads. Let's join them. Hey guys, Brooklyn here. Just wanted to say congratulations to our graduating students of 2021. I am so incredibly proud of you guys. Uh, grade school is not an easy thing to get through and it's been like 10 times harder for you guys in the past couple of years here, moving back and forth between home and school and kind of always not being sure with this pandemic going on. And I know that grad probably wasn't quite what you imagined it would be growing up. And I am so sorry for that, but I've hope, I hope your family and your friends have found a way to celebrate you and your accomplishments. I hope you feel proud of yourself because it's not an easy thing to get through. And it's bittersweet because I know many of you and I have to say goodbye to some of you as you leave youth group, but I am so proud of you and I'm so excited to see where you go in your life. And I just want to take a quick moment to pray for you. So Father God, I thank you for the graduating students of 2021 here. I pray, Father, that whatever they decide to do, whether that's post-secondary, jumping straight into a career, or deciding to travel sometime in the near future here, Father God, that you would be with them. And number one, God, that you would just be a part of whatever they do. I pray that they have a growing passion and desire to get to know you. I pray that their spiritual growth and walk with you becomes closer as adults, as their faith becomes even more their own and not based on anybody else, Father, but that you'd become so real to them. Holy Spirit, I ask that you would just be a comfort in times of distress as life moves forward. I pray that you'd be a guide and a teacher during the confusing times, and I pray, Father God, that you would just fill them with your presence when they need it most. I pray, Father, that they would not be able to doubt your existence because you would just walk so closely with them. I pray, Father God, as they go on with their adult life, Father, that you would be there for them. I pray, Father, that you place people around them who are there to encourage them and love on them. I pray that you bless the work of their hands and wherever their feet take them, Father God, that you'd be with them. Let them be a light in this world. I pray, Father God, that they would be able to carry out that great commission and spread your word, your good news, and love on other people just like Jesus loved. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Good luck in the rest of your endeavors, guys. I love you. God, we pray for the grads as they go on to new things, maybe new places, and meet new people. We pray that as they make decisions on what they want to do or where to go, and as they react to things in their lives, that you will be what guides their steps. Give them direction to follow you in all that they do. We pray for courage to follow your lead when what you've called them to is hard, for peace in decisions they make, and support from the people around them so they might be encouraged in following your guidance. We pray for clarity when it's hard to discern where you're leading them, and for their faith to be strong as they obey. Guide them in all areas, Father, and make their paths known. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for these graduates. Thank you for blessing them, for helping them, and guiding them during the last 12 years of education. Thank you for giving them spirits of courage, strength, individuality, and kindness as they faced both hardships and happiness. I ask you to bless them during the next few years that will be full of big decisions and life changes. Help them to feel your presence always and cling to you and their God-given identity in you when times get tough. I ask you to hold them close and guide their steps. 